hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to coding cafe once again so now in this tutorial as i told you in the previous video tutorial also that is when i click on any user profile and when i click on send message then that user profile image will appear here and the name of that user that is to whom we want to talk or send message or send image or anything okay so we will work on that first in this video and then we will move forward okay so yeah let's go to the android studio back so we are here on the chat activity and all we need is to create an xml file so click here on this layout click new and click layout resource file and here we need to create a file by the name chat underscore custom underscore bar dot xml so yeah that's it so this is our chat custom bar dot xml file so go to the text first of all change this android i mean this constant layout to the relative layout and now the next thing which we need is the to s i mean to add a background for our this custom bar chat custom bar so we can say background and our background and the background for it will be the color color primary dark which is this one okay and now inside this we can add a circular image view here and the name of the user i mean uh, just we are going to design we will then uh, retrieve the information from the firebase database and we will display right here so what we're going to do all we need is to add a circular image view here so we can say which is our this one okay de dot h d o d n h o f this one so it will be 40 dp and the height should also be 40 dp and the source for this will be the profile which is available inside the drawable folder okay you can see that which is this picture so yeah that's it and now the next thing is the to give it id to this so the id for this will be android id and the id will be custom profile image and then we can say a line parent end to true and a line parent top to true layout margin right so for the right we can simply write this okay which is this one layout margin right and it should be 10 dp so you can see that so instead of 10 let's give it 15 dp and then crop to padding and it should be true so you can see this is the image now the next thing is that is we need a text view for displaying that username so you can set text view wrap content wrap content and id for this will be id custom profile name and we should give it some text so it should be display username and the text color for this will be add the red color colon background light okay not like that first we have to write android color because it is android default color so you can say android and then we can say colon and then we have the it is by the name background light okay you can see that and the text size for this will be 18 sp and the layout margin top should be at dp and the text style should be bold a line parent top true and then we can say a line parent start true so yeah that's it so now all we need is to access this image view and this profile name from here 
on our chat activity so how we can do that so go to the chat activity and here first of all let's initialize this field so we can say private so the first one is the text view so we can say text view and let's call this as username and the second one is the circular image view circle image view so we can say circle image view and let's call this as user profile image instead of that we can say user receiver profile image as that will be the picture of the receiver okay that is to whom we will be sending a message so receiver profile image and receiver name receiver name okay so yeah that's it now go to the initialize fields method we have this initialize field method so here we can say user sorry receiver name equals to text view find view by id and the id for this is custom profile name and then we have the receiver profile image equals to circular image circle image view find view by id and the id for this is the custom custom profile image so yeah in this way we can access this chat custom bar here okay but if you run our app now uh, just to check then our app will crash because we have to include this uh, xml file or you can say this chat custom bar on our chat activity using the action bar so what we're going to do here here we can say now that is uh, action bar and let's call this as action bar equals to get support action bar okay so let me undo this and let me tell you one more thing if you write this action bar okay so make sure to click this one okay which is this one action bar android.support.v7.app okay to make so make sure to uh, select this one okay and we can call it as action bar i just redo it for you people because i think if you click the other one then it you will get error okay so make sure to select only that one which i show you guys and then we can say action bar dot set display home as up enable which is this one and it should be true and then we can say action bar dot set display custom enable which is display custom enable let's write here because i can't see here which is this one okay set display okay not this one which is this one okay set display show custom enabled okay so make sure to select this one and it should be true so now we need a layout inflator so we can say layout layout capital i and this one okay layout inflator let's call this as layout inflator equals to layout inflator this dot get system service context dot layout inflator service which is this one and put a semicolon here so yeah now the next thing is to set a view to it so we can say view press alt enter together to import this view class and then we can say action underscore bar underscore view equals to layout inflator dot inflate and now we are going to add that uh, chat custom bar to our chat activity so we can say r dot layout dot chat custom bar and put a comma here and then we can say null and then at the end we can add a semicolon so to connect it to the chat activity now we can say action bar dot set custom view so this is our custom view which we are going to set now action bar view so in this way we have successfully connect our uh, chat custom bar 
to the chat activity okay so in this way we can connect the custom bar uh, or you can say uh, xml file to our already existing uh, activity if we have created okay so we can we connect this to our chat activity so now if i run the app just to see if it is working or not so our app is running now successfully and now if i go to the messages and let's click on this profile and here we go you can see that this is the circular image view and this is the text view for displaying the name so what we're going to do now and here you can see that we have this back button by using the action bar so this back button is not working now first we will uh, add just one uh, one line of code just that if a user click on this back button then it will send us to the main activity so now the important thing is that is we are go going now to display uh, to retrieve the profile image from the firebase database and we will display it here so that whenever we click here on any profile then that profile image will display it there so that we can so that an online user can basically uh, understand that is to whom he is going to talk or send message okay so yeah let's do that so first of all for the back button to work go to the manifest android manifest and here here we can say we have our chat activity you can see that okay android name equals to dot chat activity so press enter and uh, go go to the next line and here we can say parent android parent activity name and the parent activity name is the main activity okay so you can see that so now if the user click on the back button and it will send us to the main activity okay come back here and now let's retrieve the profile uh, image and let's display that here and also the username so the username we have already getting it from the previous activity from the friends activity okay you can see that we are receiving it from there now the next thing is to create a reference to the database so here we can say private database reference and it is uh, let's call this as root reference and now inside our on create method here we can say root ref equals to firebase database get reference dot child and we are basically referencing it to the root reference so there is no need to add a child okay so it is basically linked to our whole uh, firebase database okay to the root okay now the next thing is after this initially initialize fields method we are going to create another method and let's call this as display receiver info so inside that method we will display the information so let's create this method so we have this method okay so now inside this method what we're going to do now first we have to say user receiver username which is our this field okay so we have already retrieved the name from our previous activity so we can say set text and we can pass that variable here which is message receiver name so pass that here and the next thing is to retrieve the profile image of that user from the database so you can say root ref dot child users dot child and which user we are going to uh, get the picture so it is by the message receiver id okay so that is the id of that user which you are retrieving from from the previous activity that is from the here you can see that okay message receiver id dot add value event listener new value event listener and make sure to put a semicolon here and now inside this own data change method we can say if data snapshot exists then what we gonna do we can say final string and let's call this as profile image equals to data snapshot dot child and it is by the name 
profile image and make sure to use the same name which is here in the database if I show you it is profile image okay so make sure to use the same name if you do not use it then your app will crash and here we commit a spelling mistake which is P R O F I L E profile image yeah that's it dot get value dot to string and now is the time to display this so you can say Picasso dot with we are on the ch uh, chat activity so you can say chat activity dot this dot load profile image dot into receiver profile image yeah that's it and if you want then you can here you can add the placeholder so we can say or dot drivable dot profile so yeah everything is okay now and if I run the app now so our app is running now successfully now let's go to the messages now let's click on this first profile uh, sorry for the send message then you can see that his picture and his name is here if I click on any other profile that is Ammon Ford and you can see that this is the profile picture and this is her name let's check for the other user so let's click on Mohamed Aves and send a message so you can see that it is working fine so now the user is I mean an online user will be able and it will be easy for him to know and to understand that is to whom he is going to talk or to send a message okay because here will be the receiver name and the receiver name and his profile picture will appear here so you can see that we have successfully done that now in the next video tutorial we are going to allow a user to send message to any user he wants to send so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video tutorial we will be working on that so if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel thumbs up for this video don't forget to press the bell icon and yeah see you guys in the next video bye for now